There are lots of different project management methodologies, and I suggest you trust uh, Google and you go and investigate some of these. In the UK, one of the main methodologies for running projects is called PRINCE2. I've got a couple of slides coming up on that in a minute. Um, PRINCE2, a requirement if you want to work on UK government projects, Ministry of Defence projects, health service projects. And if you're reading job adverts from UK government, local government, health service, it will say PRINCE training required. That's just one methodology, though. We'll look at that one uh, in the next few slides. The Kersner approach to project management is another methodology. If you've gone to the library and searched for project management, you'll find that some of the books are by this guy, Harold Kersner. He's written so many books on project management that people say, yes, I'm following the Kersner approach to project management. So, okay, you don't have to Google that one, but you can go to the library and find some books by Harold Kersner. So you want to know how to run a project? You want to follow a methodology? Microsoft Project will help you. Uh, if you go to the help system in Microsoft Project, it will tell you how to organize, how to plan your project, what steps you should take. It's a methodology for running projects. I find this really ironic because if you open Word and go to help, it doesn't help you become an author. If you go to Excel and open help, it doesn't help you become an accountant. So why should Microsoft Project decide that it needs to help you be a project manager? I think perhaps the answer to that is project management is more complex than people think, and Microsoft Project is more complex than people think. Here's two for you to Google, though. Goal-directed project management. Just a subtle, different way of looking at project management or critical chain project management. We will have a lecture on critical chain project management. Critical chain project management said to be the latest thing in project management techniques. Uh, another one, agile project management. And we'll be comparing agile and critical chain project management in later lectures, later videos. So I said we'd look at uh, PRINCE as a methodology, and PRINCE stands for Projects in Controlled Environments. Uh, it was mainly developed out of something called PROMPT, uh, Project Resource Organization Management and Planning Techniques. PROMPT was developed in the 1970s, 1980s, because IT projects were running badly. Government IT projects, health service, Ministry of Defense, local government, national government. Prompts became Prince and in 1996, Prince became Prince version 2. And Prince 2 now looks at uh, a wider variety of projects. It is not just focused on IT projects. You can do a foundation or a practitioner qualification in Prince. And this would be a requirement if you want a job in the UK local government, national government, health service, Ministry of Defence areas. If you could go to Google and search project management training, you'll get lots of PRINCE courses, but it doesn't teach you the tools and techniques. It is a methodology for running projects. So we have different methodologies for running projects. Um, we'll be following one throughout this module, um, but go and have a look at the uh, other ones that are available. Here's just an overview of the PRINCE2 methodology, trying to help people get themselves organized as to what they should be thinking about, about the project, from uh, directing it from a senior level to doing uh, a plan to breaking the project down into different stages.